Welcome to today's 3D print. This video is going to be all about stuff you can buy for your 3D printer. Uh, first is print surface. Uh, I use Print and Z, and I'm switching to that exclusively now because so far it's amazing. Um, I can beat the living piss out of it and it keeps going. Uh, another surface that prints equally as well is PEI. That's where you take a piece of PEI poly... I don't, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Look it up, PEI. Um, but um, there are two places to get PEI. You can get it on Amazon for $22. I'll have a link below. That comes with the adhesive, but it does not come together. So you've got to add the adhesive and then you have to add the PEI. So if you are a sucker for punishment and you want to do that, or if you're good at that, I'll have the link down below. So it'll be an affiliate link. I appreciate it. Uh, but I suggest um, if you don't want the punishment, go to CS Hide. Just type in CS Hide on Google and it'll come up. I'll, if I find it, I'll pop, I'll pop a link in there too. Duh. I'm going to be adding links. I can add a link to that too. Um, it's more money, but you can buy a sheet from them that has the adhesive already applied. And that's very easy to apply. You just curve it into a bow, get it where you want to, and then just lay it out as you push the air out. It's very, very easy. Um, don't get the three mil, get thicker. <laughs> I bought the three mil, and one of the problems that I have with PEI is that it is very easy to damage them. There it goes. It's very easy to accidentally, when you're taking your model off, which can stick very well, it's very easy to dig this into the PEI. Um, check out my video on how to modify your scraper to make that less likely. It won't stop it, but it makes it less likely. But that's your PEI print surface. The next cool thing that I found was the scale. A lot of people were asking me, what do my models weigh? Now, I don't know. I don't know how to weigh them, so I bought a scale to do it. It comes with these little covers, and it comes with a little blue screen. It comes with the batteries, triple A's, and it's, I like this one because it's large enough. It's got a large enough area where I can take a large model like my Adelinda and set it on top of here and weigh it. And the protective cover also turns around, and it's a tray. And you can tar out the weight of the tray and add little stuff, you know. If you have little tiny prints that you want to weigh, and you got a bunch of them, you don't want them going all over the place. Um, it's 14 bucks to a prime shipped. That's incredible that you can buy, and this is good for two kilograms. So pretty much any print that any of us are likely to ever print, this can mass out. Um, the only thing I don't like is that the buttons are chrome, so it's very hard to read. But the reality is, you only really need to know the one button: power on and tar. Um, press it, power on, press and hold, tar it, and it'll zero out whatever's on there. Uh, cool little scale though. 14 bucks on Amazon. It's a little hard to beat that. I was surprised it was that cheap when I went online to get one. And it packages up nicely. Next up is how I will be recording all of my time-lapse videos from now on. I finally found an easy solution to time-lapse. The original Yi action camera. You can get this on Amazon, link below, for 70 bucks. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot cheaper than 250 for a low-end GoPro, and it's as good as a GoPro, but um, it has a time-lapse function in that does permit up to a 60-second interval, which is about what you want when you're doing, for example, a 75-hour print. <laughs> and it should be a little bit more reliable than the app on my phone that I use. I have a Note 4, which I'm using it to record with. I use Lapsit Pro, and it always gives me problems where it just randomly stops. I don't know why, it just stops. But this also outputs a MP4. So it makes you a time-lapse video that you don't have to post-process, except maybe to you know trim it, to get rid of the dead zones in the beginning or the end. You shouldn't have any in the beginning, but you might have. If you come home three hours after the print's done, you're going to have an extra three hours in your time-lapse. If you know precisely how long your print's going to take, you can tell it to go for a certain amount of time, but we never know how long. I mean, the, the software told me 48 hours, 50 hours for the Dragon, so, or I'm sorry, 58 hours, 60 hours for the Dragon, so I knew it was going to be 75. And it came out to about, about 74 hours. But that's cool. I got the green one, they have white and black. I just, I like bright colors, you know, screw dark colors. But, uh, 70 bucks in Amazon. And next up after that, an absolutely essential tool. Mine are very old, but it's the same thing you can get on Amazon now. It is 7 bucks prime shipped. You need a pair of six inch super skinny extended needle nose pliers. And this is great when you've got to 
get in your bed and grab that piece of plastic that's hooking onto your nozzle, screwing up your first layer. So you can just reach in there and snatch that little bugger and pull it right out. Because of its skinny nose, it won't interfere with the actual print head. You can get it right underneath there, grab that plastic and yank it out. Very, very handy tool. This is a must have. Uh, in fact, I just ordered another pair so I can keep one at each printer so I don't have to run back and forth. <laughs> and that's it. Links will be below. Much appreciated. Those links do help me out. I hope you enjoy.